His head is round, so we are gonna just rough in, draw very lightly here, because we're just using pencil to, to uh, establish where things basically go. Okay, draw a very light circle right here. Draw a very light circle, and then we're gonna draw another circle this way. So this circle is overlapping this circle. It's kind of like his, we're looking, our camera's looking down on him here. We're gonna see more of his head here, okay? And then we're seeing less of this here, see? So it's, it's like, okay, so you see how that overlapped? It's like a snowman right now, see? Two big snowballs that you rode in the wintertime. But you notice how we're, we're looking down at him, so that, that's kind of like, see how that's overlapping that, all right? So we want to get that and keep that in mind. Okay, so now we're going to get, let's put his feet right about here. Another circle right here. His feet sticking up. Okay. And uh, we're going to... Let's get in some details here now. Okay, let's see here. So, okay, now we're going to make his arm. Okay, not not you know. Now we're going to do his head. Uh, let's get just divide up his head. So he let's start with the ears here. So he's got these big round mountain-like shapes for his ears. So think of like a it's like a letter C. See like that. If you turn your paper this way, it's like the letter C. But think of it like a, just a sort of a round mountain like shape right here. Okay. And then we're going to, this starting from here, we're going to do another mountain shape like that. Okay. And then it's going to come down like this into where his head's going to go. And it's going to be like that. It's going to curve right around his head like this. Starting from here, it's going to curve right around like that. Okay. And then over here, it's going to come down like this and around like that. It's a little bit wider here. See, it's wider here, and it's going to get narrower here. Much, much narrower to the point that it's very narrow here. See that? And it's going to come up and up to right about here. So you see where his, his ear is right here? It's going to be kind of like see where his line. See, that's what you want to do when you're in drawing. You want to always cross-reference. You always want to reference these. See that line? It's about where that line is. See, it's going to come up here. Okay, and you see that that's overlapping this way like that. Okay, draw lightly. Don't worry if it's rough right now because that'll that'll give your drawing a more energy. It'll look looser. Drawing looser will, will make your drawings. What I mean, it'll make your finished drawing look more um, more energetic. It'll look less stiff. It'll look more lively. So it's okay to draw loose and rough at this stage. Okay, all right. So here we go. Now let's get his arm in and let's let's put it right about here. Let's put little triangles here for his fingers. Two and three and four sticking out. And then a curve a line like that, a curvy line like that. And then another curvy line this way it overlaps this line. Okay, so we want to understand that it's overlapping here. See this line is overlapping. Okay, coming down is a curve for his chest. And then we're going to start doing, uh, let's do his other arm here. Okay, let's make his other arm stick up too, right about here and right there okay and here's a thumb here one sticking out triangle like that another triangle they're just triangle shapes what shapes are his fingers triangles that's right keep that in mind just triangle shapes okay there we go and make it a little bit wider here and narrower here see wider and narrower same thing should be the same thing for this side so i might have made his finger go up a little bit too high there to make that look narrow okay you can actually Leave it yours if it looks good. I'm just gonna bring it in just a little bit. Cause I wanna get this idea that is narrower up here and wider down here. See, it's like a little bit thicker, wider down here, okay? All right, now his toes here, he's got three of them. They're just, what shape are his toes? Triangles. That's right, always think of? Basic shape. That's right, okay. And I love this here, he's, he's like Snorlax. I think it's so cute. This will represent the bottom of his uh, feet here, the soles of his feet. Just make an ellipse here. And what's an ellipse? It's like a stretched out circle. That's right. It's a circle in perspective, basically. Uh, so it's not a perfect circle. It's kind of like, see, I've got it stretched out this way. Okay. Same with his feet. It's kind of like uh, not a perfect circle. It's a little bit stretched out this way. Okay. So a little bit wider circle. It's an ellipse, which means a circle in perspective. You're looking at the circle on an angle. Perspective means you're just looking at things on, on an angle. Okay, all right, so now we're going to do his, uh, let's put in some details of his, kind of like he's got like a, is, he got, is it a dress he's wearing? 
It kind of looks like it. <laughs> okay, so this line comes a little bit further in on his arm. Okay, and then we're going to then bring a line down here. Stick, and we're going to start doing some little triangles. Actually, make the first triangle smaller if you can. It's going to be smaller, getting bigger here, and they're all going to be different size triangles. So just one little one here, maybe another one here, right? Another one pointing out like that. Another one here. Now, don't worry about these being perfect. It's your version of the character. You can make little differences. It's not going to be exact. They're just sort of triangles. It's kind of like a dress that's ripped, right? Kind of. It's like his dress is ripped. So, or his, I don't know if it's his dress or whatnot. I, say, I should say it's his outfit. Okay. So, we're just going to make little triangle shapes all around here. See, they're going to be a little bit smaller here, a little bit bigger here, a little bit bigger again. You know, you just kind of make some nice random triangle shapes, but it should be a little bit smaller right at the very ends here. Because why is that? Um, because it's in perspective. That's right. Because things farther away from us will look... Smaller. That's right. Because see, it's, it's, it's going farther away from us. We're seeing more of the front part of his body, and this is turning away from us here. Okay? Okay. So here we go. He's got, so now we're going to work on his head here. Okay, so this is going to come down. I'm just actually, that, I already drew that line, but I'm just darkening it a little bit so you can see it too. I'm just refining the shapes here. Refine the shapes. So it's kind of like Play-Doh. When you kids are doing things in Play-Doh, you squeeze and squeeze and make it look more and more like it. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just refining the shapes. That's the great thing about working in pencil. You can do that. You can just shape and shape things. And you can use your best friend. That's right. Okay, we'll be using that later to clean up. Okay, we're gonna draw his eyes now, and they're just basically circles, and they're also ellipses. They're, instead of being stretched out this way, they're stretched out this way. So we're gonna do that. So see where his ear is right here, about the middle of his. Well, not quite the middle. Um, see, that's the middle. So just a little bit this way. We're gonna put, and that's how we cross-reference things. Look at where things are. Look at where you're placing things. That's what drawing's about too, where things go. So we're gonna put his eyes right about here. See, it's like an egg shape. Think of an egg, okay? There's one, and put a dot in the middle. And then we're gonna do another one, right about here. Put a dot, uh, you can make his eyes a little bit sillier by moving his ball, uh, eyeballs, uh, uh, his pupil of his eye, a little bit this way, okay? Where you put his pupils will make him look sillier, and he's a pretty silly looking character, right? Yep. Okay, actually, so I'm checking things over here, and I'm thinking that I want to make it move his eyes a little bit. And see, with pencil, you can do that. With eraser, you can do that. You don't have to do that, but I'm going to change mine. I want to make it just see where this, see where this ear is, okay? I want to bring it just a little bit closer to this side. Right about there. Put a dot there, and you can increase the size of his eyes if you want to as well. If you want to, as your character, you can change it up a bit. I want to bring this mouth a little bit lower too. Now if yours is looking good, you don't need to do that. I want to do that to mine just a little bit. Well, actually I made about the same. I'm just cleaning it up. Okay, there we go. And then we're going to put some little triangles here for his uh, teeth here. There we go, that's one. That's two. Those little triangles. And then starting from this side to inside of his mouth, right here, right here, starting from here, right about here. We're gonna show the inner layer of his mouth. It's kinda like, uh, it's kinda like his, his, imagine you're looking at his lips and then the inside of his, it's hard to explain. It's kinda like the, uh, yeah, it's kinda like the inside of his lip almost. Put a little line right here like that. It's gonna be tapering in. So it's wider here and getting narrower here. And it's gonna end right about here. So where it meets this line right here, I know it's a little bit hard to see. I changed my pencils. My pencil's a little bit too dull there. It's hard to see the lines I'm making. So you see that line right there, and right there, see it kind of ends right there, okay? I'm gonna, I'll be cleaning this all up later so you can see it more clearly. See that line's right there, that line's right there. Clean up a little bit now so you can see it better. Okay, and now we're gonna get his tongue in here. Uh, actually, his tongue is actually just right here. It covers his whole mouth. Um, we're gonna be shading this in later. It's gonna be a little bit of a highlight right here. So I'm just indicating that this part here, it's gonna be all in shadow. I can shade it in right now for you so you can see it. This part is in shadow. 
actually his whole area is his, like his tongue. This looks like his tongue, but actually is his whole, this is kind of like his whole tongue is in shadow. I'm going to put another foot right here and make his feet, you can see his feet. Just do a sort of a, a circle like this. Don't make it too big, although you could. Right about like that, because not making it too big because the idea is his dress or his outfit here is covering, it's kind of hiding most of his feet. Okay, so I'm gonna make it look like that. And I'm gonna point his toes down. Here's one, here's two, and here's three. Three little toes, it's like he's kind of like dancing or shouting for joy here. <laughs> All righty, okay. All right, and now we're gonna draw the little detail of his uh, ch inner chest. All the Pokemons have something around here, most of them do. They usually have like a U shape. He's yeah, got like a little... Charmander, Snorlax. That's right, that's right. He's got a sort of a little uh, circle here, but it's hidden by his nice cute little jaw here. So we're gonna draw a circle, but it's not, um, we're not seeing all of it. And again, it's an ellipse, because it's not a perfect circle. Perfect circles are, you know, they're perfectly round like that. It's kind of, you know, stretched out this way a little bit. So we're gonna, we're gonna place it um, right about here. So you see where that is gonna be right about here. And we're gonna just draw and see, we just just rough in a nice little circle. It doesn't need to be perfect, see? That's why it's great to use pencil. You can just rough things in and reshape things, whatever you need to do. You can refine things. See, I'm just refining that shape there. It's gonna be a line here, by the way, okay? That overlaps here. Okay, I'm cleaning up a little bit here so you can see what's going on a little bit. There we go. Clean up just a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just cleaning up a little bit. I'm gonna clean up just a little bit here so you can see what I'm doing better. Okay, I'm gonna make this side stick out more. Oh, actually, it's gonna stick out like this. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make the side of his face bulge more. Now you don't have to do that. If you're happy with yours, you can keep it. I'm just going to make it bulge out just a little bit more. And see, that's the great thing about pencil. We are refining it. I want to make sure we can see this line here. You guys can see this line. It's actually a very thin line here, like this. See, there's a, like a little gap here. It's kind of hard to see in pencil. See that? I made it like a little, it's a little thin line here that goes, that's following in, that follows this line right here. See that? Okay, and I made it so you can, it's hard to see his teeth now. I'm gonna clean up his a little bit more so you can see his teeth. His teeth actually, yeah, they're more right about here. I made it a little bit too low here. Right about there, okay? And that's the inside part of his uh, lips there. Okay, I cleaned up a bit for you guys to see that. And there we go! Munchlax! Woohoo! All right! Okay, now, don't go away. We are definitely not done because if you go, if you leave your drawing like this, it's going to look kind of, well, rough and a little bit messy, but we're not going to leave it like that. Don't leave your drawing like this because it's going to look a little bit messy and rough and that's okay too, but that's not really how you finish a drawing off. We're going to finish the drawing off. So we can, you can do it two ways. You can either grab an ink marker and ink over it, which we will, we, which we will do. Or you can get uh, an eraser and put it flat and lightly erase everything down. <laughs> so it's almost like you're erasing everything away, but you see, we're not erasing everything away. We're just cleaning up and we're, you see, we're erasing away so you can still see everything. Because if you don't have an ink marker, you are gonna sharpen your pencil here, okay? You're gonna sharpen your pencil so it's nice and sharp. And then you're gonna make you're gonna, you're gonna draw as if you're inking because that's when you're not doing sketchy lines. You see in the beginning, we drew loose, right? We held our pencil loose and you just roughed it in. But no, we're not doing that. We are drawing definite lines now. Confident, long, fluid lines like this, for example. One line, just as if you're inking. Look how clean that looks. See, we're gonna draw definite lines now. You see? Confident and definite. Okay, you see that? That's what we're doing, okay? So, so now 
you can do that to the entire drawing. I'm just giving you an example, right? example here. I just cleaned up this part. If you don't have an ink marker, please don't go away. What you're going to do, like I said, you're going to ink, you're going to erase everything down, the whole drawing. And you're going to do that to the whole drawing. You're going to make it a finished drawing like that. Okay? But if you have an ink marker, pull out an ink marker, a Sharpie or fine liner will do, or even a ballpoint pen, and we are going to ink it. I think it's about time now to... Time lapse! Three, two, one, time lapse! start off with a turquoise first. So I'm going to start off with a turquoise and see how where that goes. Now, hmm, it looks a little bit more blue. Blue. When I put it down, then the actual color, that, that, that could happen. Let's see what these other ones do. That's more green. We might have to mix it. Oh yeah, this is pretty good. That's looking pretty good. Yeah. And we might have to mix the colors to make it really work. Okay, so I'm like I say, you can use a, a sort of a, a bluey green color or a bluish color. Or what I've got here is sort of a turquoise color, even though it looks green, it's actually looking kind of turquoise like. Okay, so when you're coloring kids, it is important to follow the form. That's right, so these are forms. That means they're, see, these are not their shapes, but form meaning they're three dimensional shapes. You want to think about these three dimensional shapes. They're all basic shapes like circles, squares, triangles, but they're forms. They're, they've got structure. They're, they're three dimensional blocks, you know, of, of shapes. So we want to think about that and we want to follow the form. So see this form here going this way? Well, we don't want to just color going this way. His form is going this way. So we are going to see that. Now I'm making my form. I'm following the form. See that? That's going to also make your drawings look better. It's going to look more three-dimensional. Do you want your characters to look more three-dimensional or you want them to look flat? Three-dimensional? That's right. And that's how we do that. So in this part here is actually, think of his head, it's like curving. See, his head isn't flat. It's kind of like, like a curve here. You see, it's like bulging this way. So that's why we're going we're gonna to color as if. We're going to color like that too. And see, you can turn your paper, kids. Turning your paper helps too to get the uh, the right angle of your arm and wrist movement. And I always say it's good to use your whole arm to draw, not just your wrist. Okay? Depends though. If you're doing details and you use more of your wrist. Okay, so this whole upper part here, I'm following the... See, now this side, I'm following the form. See that curve like that? I'm following the form. You don't need to color too dark right away because we can build up our colors and you can add other colors and they will probably mix in depending on what you're using the color. Okay, everything works a little bit different, but it's kind of the same idea in some ways. Okay, so now we're doing his arm here. I'm just putting the first layer of color, nice and light. Follow that form, very important. And you kids probably already know, you need the color, you gotta stay within the lines. Ain't that right? Yep. That one you guys already know, I'm sure. Your parents are probably telling you that. <laughs> if you're a young kid, okay? Now, uh, now we're gonna do his body. And again, I'm trying to follow the form. And if you need to sharpen your pencil, please do so. Oh, there we go. Listen to that nice pencil sound, sharpening sound. All right. So sharpen your pencil. I'm going to sharpen mine too. All right. There 
you know. 